Fresh fighting was reported Saturday between the Taliban and resistance forces in Afghanistan's Panjshir Valley, as the hardline Islamists finalize a new government that will set the tone for their rule. Facing the challenge of morphing from insurgents to rulers, the Taliban appear determined to snuff out the Panjshir resistance before announcing who will lead the country in the aftermath of Monday's U.S. troop withdrawal, which was supposed to end two decades of war. But Panjshir, which held out for nearly a decade against the Soviet Union's occupation and also the Taliban's first rule from 1996 to 2001, is stubbornly holding out. Afghanistan's under-19 team began to arrive in Bangladesh Saturday to play a short series, an official said, the first Afghan cricket team to play abroad following the Taliban takeover. They will play five one-dayers and a four-day match against Bangladesh's under-19 team at the Silhid International Stadium between September 10 to 25. The first group of eight players arrived in Dhaka today. The remaining players will arrive in two other groups, said Rabid Imam, a Bangladesh cricket board, BCB, spokesman. They are the first Afghan team to play international cricket in any form since the Taliban took control of much of their country in mid-August. Imam said the Afghan athletes left for the northeastern city of Silhid immediately after they arrived in Dhaka. About 600 Taliban have been killed in Afghanistan's northeastern province of Panjshir, Sputnik reported quoting the Afghan resistance forces on Saturday. About 600 Taliban have been liquidated in various districts of Panjshir since morning. More than 1,000 Taliban have been captured or surrendered themselves, the resistance forces spokesperson Faham Dashti tweeted. The spokesperson further added that the Taliban had problems with getting supplies from other Afghan provinces, Sputnik reported. Track latest news live on NDTV.com and get news updates from India and around the world.